all right uh, very good morning very good evening everyone uh, welcome to my channel this is malik Arjun here uh, quickly i'm going to demonstrate on this today's session on file system structure in case of rack how the data files control files to log files archaeology files and your sp file and the password file are all structured and which of them are shared across all the cluster nodes which of them are not shared across all the cluster nodes and which of them are individual to each instance which of them are shared between instances we're going to show it in this particular demo here so i'm just going to do uh, node one psfnef grep s one that's going to give me asm instance one devdb instance one and similarly i have a node two if i do psfnef grep s one that's going to give me asm instance two and devdb instance two it's a basically two node rack setup and just quickly draw that one i have node one this is my node one this is my node two i have my asm instance one i have my asm instance two i have my devdb instance one devdb instance two so for this a database we all know this particular cluster is formed with the help of a shared storage and this is your actual data files which will be stored here so now i'm going to demonstrate like i'm going to explain about which all files are shared which all files are not shared in this particular rack cluster so if i connect to my database instance one that's a devdb1 dot or inv devdb instance one validate using env grep capital vara so that's going to give me devdb instance oracle base oracle home let's go to second node log into oracle user run dot or inv devdb instance 2 env grep capital vara that's going to give me devdb2 oracle base oracle home so now let's connect to my database in node 1 the cluster node 1 as a sql plus slash sdb which is going to connect to node 1 of the devdb instance 1 and on the same thing on the second node we're going to connect your instance two of the devdb so if i can make it with a, a multiple screen i can probably go with a two screen i will go with the node one here and then i'll go with the node two here right two nodes connected here i can run for the first command show parameter sp file sp file on the instance one give me data devdb parameter file sp file if i run the same command on the node 2 that also give me same location so what that concludes what that indicates my sp file is i'm gonna say something like this shared between instances shared between instances you know or rack db instances right so or either of said so a single file or the said a single file single file between the rack instances or non said uh, instead of like you know this is going to be confusing but what i can say whether this file is attached to a in instance wise or it is a shared between all the instances or i can go with the shared file between the rack instances non shared file between the rack instances like you know, independent each instance has a single file or one single file can be shared between each instances so your sp file fall under this category it's a shared file so a single file or the shared file can be accessed by both instances make sense now let's say select name from v dollar control file so i have control file one and control file two under data disk group and record disk group on the instance one 
if I go to second instance, I'll be getting the same control file. Control file one, control file two, that's a three not four, two, six, six, one under data and one under echo. So again, control file is said or the single file among all the cluster instances. So now let's go here on the instance one select name from v dollar data file. So I have system 302 sysox 297 undo tbs1 298 undo tbs2 2 or 306 user 299 all are under data disk group. If I run the same command on the node 2 again system sysox undo 1 undo 2 users. So what it indicates here your data file system sysox and users and then etc all the files system sysox users all are a single file or saved between your rack instances whereas your undo is not saved each instance one has its own undo data file instance two has its own undo data file so if i can say i can put it out here undo one undo two so we have an instance specific undo data file instance one can write its own undo data file instance two can write an in its own undo data file right so that is a non said even though it's on the said location both the instance can access but who is going to write undo one has written by instance one undo two has written by instance two right next going forward select member from widdler log file so if i see here i have redo group one redo group one and redo group two redo group two redo group three redo group three redo group four redo group four it's basically a multiplex copies of file like you know the same redo log is copied over here same redo log group three one member is copied over here it's like kind of a multiplexing of your redo logs but basically i have here redo group one two a three a four i have four redo groups if i check the same thing on the second node again same thing redo group one two three four but what i'm trying to say where are those files which are belongs to instance one which are belongs to instance two for that we have described with alert log file so i can say or describe with alert log i can list out a group number comma a thread number from or i can go with the members as well thread number members from with alert log file or log so which says read group one two three four each of these four groups have two two members we just saw that one and for which instance they belong to my redo group one and two are belong to my instance one that's a thread my redo group three and four belong to my instance two so basically what it says you have redo which are not said basically i can say i have undo data file which will be like instance specific undo one and undo two if it's a three node four node it will be undo three undo four and if you have only two two members you have redo group one and redo or else like i'll just say redo group so my redo group so basically you should have at least two groups each in instance instance one has one and two instance two has three and four you can have one two three for instance one four five six for instance three or you can have like one two three four five for instance one six seven eight nine ten for instance two you can have how many number of groups you want it 
that is instance specific instance one can write it on its own redo groups instance two can write it on its own redo group those are not shared between the instances even though are on the shared disk both are instance can access those redo files but who is going to write it instance one can write it on its own redo log files right now going to the next one describe vidalar temp file select file number comma we'll go with the name from vidalar temp file Right, it has only one temp file under dev, which is saved between your both instances. Both instances can access the same temp file. Right, temp file is saved between both instances. Both instances can write same temp file at a time. Right, so that's a. Uh, about the available files, your SP file, control files, all your data files, temp file, undo and redo. And going forward now, your password file. So the password file, you can check it out using srvctl config database hyphen D and your devdb name. So your SRVCTL command looks like this. Your database unique name, DB name, and your Oracle home, your Oracle user, and SP file, we just saw that one, and the password file. You have one password file for your instance one here. And if I run the same command on the node two, it'll be of the same output. And your password file is remain same. The PW dev db 295 pw devdb 295 it's a password file is saved so your password file is saved between both instances and both instances can access your saved password file which is a single file and then one other thing what we can say is for our p file so we saw sp file saved and what about the p file let's connect to instance one so I'll do create p file from sp file done. So if I exit, go to my Oracle home slash dbs location do lsf and ltr. So I have my init dev db one init init file and instance name dev db instance one dot ora. Same thing if I go to my second instance create p file from sp file with the typo syntax error right now if i exit from sql command line go to my oracle home slash dbs so i can get my init at dev db instance 2 dot vara so basically your p file is not said your instance one has its own p file instance two has your own p file you cannot start your instance two using instance one p file you cannot start your instance one using instance two p file so each instance has its own specific file with its own naming convention all right so that's uh your uh said and non said so on top of that uh you have your alert or you can say alert log so you have your instance one has its own alert log instance two has its own alert log and you have your trace file instance one has its own trace file instance two has its own trace file you have your a trm file binary file of the trace file so your instance one has its own trace file instance two has its own trace file you have your incident files so you have your instance one has its own file instance two has its own file you have your core dump files so you have instance one has its own core dump file instance two has its own core dump file so these all files are independent it means it is a each instance specific all are available under your os file system but apart from here, 
it will be under your ASM and then your control file will be under ASM, your system data file will be under ASM, your sysocks will be under ASM, your user or other data files are under ASM, temp file is under ASM, and uh, your password file. Uh, my bad, it was a typo. Password file is under your ASM, and undo data files are under ASM, and your redo logs are under ASM, and your P file, a P file is under your a file system or you can have your OS storage. So the OS storage may be your SAN or NAS or NFS or anything. So your P file is under your OS storage. The same thing goes for your other files as well. So your alert log is under OS file system. Your trace is under OS file system. A TRM, trace file, code dump, all of them are under your ASM storage. So these all are like your management files. In order to manage your instance one, instance two, you have to go with that particular code dump files or the instance files or the trace files or the alert log files. These kind of a monitoring or the management files. So all these files are located under something called Diag directory. So if I go to node one, CD, U01, app, Oracle, a Diag, a DIAG Diag. This is the directory. And node one, if I go, if I do LL, I have so many uh, directories over here. If I minimize this one here, so I have so many directories AFD bot, APX, ASM, ASM, CMD, and client, CRS, Diag tool, EM, KFOD, listener, Netka. So, what is interested is I'm looking for only database specific file. For that, I'll go into my uh, RDBMS. That's a database specific files. So if I do LL, so we have a DB name called DevDB. So inside that, we have this instance by DevDB instance one. So if I do LS and LTR inside that, so many files. You have CDM, you have a instance files, you have a alert files. If I go to alert and check it out, we have this alert files. If I go to incident and do LL, I have incident files for the instance one. And if I go to a trace file and then LL alert log, so we have this alert log for that. And do LSF and LTR, you can get all the trace files and the TRM files for the instance one. Same thing goes for your instance two as well. This is the same directory, user on app, Oracle, Diag, RDBMS, DevDB. The same directory, if I go to second node, I'll make it pull it up. If I go to second node here, do LSF and LTR. So I have instance two specific directory here. Again, same thing goes here. You have your trace files here. You have alert and C dump, incidents. Same thing if I go to alert, node instance two specific alert here. And if I go to incident and no instance on the second instance, if I go to my trace directory, LL alert. So we have this dev db instance two specific alert log. If I do LSF and LTR, all the TRM and trace files are all located over here. Right, so that's a, a quick intro about how a rack a file system works and which are saved which are a single file saved between both instances, which are like you know independent of files uh, dedicated for the instance specific or located over here, listed over here, listed over here. And these are like independent of instances. These are like monitoring or our day -to DBA day-to-day, -day, you know, administrative or monitoring maintenance files. All right, guys. So that's a quick intro about the file system in Rack. We'll see you in our next session. Thank you.